channel it's billionaire mandy here and i am going to do a black friday haul plus a collective haul of i would say the most recent things that i've gotten um over the last probably month or so um <clears throat> while i was away okay so let's start with what i got on black friday for some reason my black friday was geared more to jewelry um i didn't really need anything I've, I had gotten all that I needed last uh, Black Friday, so most that I most of the things that I had gotten were jewelry this year. It was because I didn't really need anything, and I'm kind of upset now because today was my film day, and I was filling out school applications, so I missed like two hours of my daylight, and I have like an hour before the sun goes down, and you can see the difference in the video if you check the videos that I did today. It's like you just have this window where you have to use the sunlight because i don't have the the light behind the cameras yet um yeah, but anyway. to the haul um i really love doing haul videos and i really really hope that you guys will like it too so the things that i got for black friday i got this ring from jc penny um i think it's a half carat of diamonds Yeah, and then I got this earring, which is also half carat diamonds, um, from J C Penny. I got them. Um, I got the ring on a steal actually. It was five hundred dollars, and I ended up paying like ninety nine dollars. Um, and this one was about almost three hundred, and I paid about eighty seven. So, those were very very good. To the next part, the more fun part. So, um, I got Cyber by Mac. Most of you know what cyber looks like. I got cyber um, mirror, which I know a lot of dark skin girls are like, eh, but this does work with my skin tone. It's like a muted pink. Um, really love that with a brown liner. Some days I can pull it off without a liner. And then I got cherish, which looks like this. Not, it's another. I've been into nudes lately. Um, and lastly, I got Antique Velvet. Um, I've been wanting this for a while, so I went ahead and got that. Um, and then, so that's what I got from Mac. Um, from NYX, I, my sister had gotten me Copenhagen, and I had gotten Transylvania. You know what that looks like. That's that really dark, vampy color for the fall and winter season. I, however, don't know where I put my Copenhagen, but it's more of a purpley color. Um, and then from Sleek Cosmetics, I went ahead and got these blushes that I've been wanting forever. It was their their 3 I think, how much did I pay for this? 7 something? Seven forty nine. So I got two. I actually bought three. I gave my friend a Lima. I gave her... I bought two of these, so I gave her that one. This one, oh, I didn't tell you. It's called Blush by Three, and so this one is pink. This one is pink far font. This one is pink ice, and that one is pink teeny. I absolutely love every single color in this palette. Oh, my God, I've been using the crap out of that one. Um, so then I got this one. She didn't like this one, so I just got this for me. It's a color combination of, I would say, um, oranges. So I got, that one is Fernance, Bonfire, Bonfire, and Meltine. Now I know everybody and their mama has, I just have so much background knowledge. Everyone and their mom had those blushes, but I didn't. So I went ahead and I got those, and that's like the only blush that I use. Not from this palette, um... I don't know. I feel like this doesn't really show up on my skin because I'm so dark. And this one is more of a highlight and that one is an orange color which is a lot, a very summery. Or if I mixed it to make it like a fiery um, orange, like a more darker undertone. And then I got this, I had gotten this, so this is part of the collective haul. I got um, Makeup Forever from my best friend. Um, the professional pro finish pow uh, foundation powder 
um i love this stuff usually when i wear it i always get compliments about how glowing my skin is and i'll put this on with nothing under it no concealer no nothing just apply this to my skin and it'll be so freaking amazing um this is color 178 i absolutely love as you can tell love this powder i've already hit pan oh on the sleek website i forgot i got their lipstick their lip gloss which i absolutely hate um i don't know it was and it was what 14 dollars it it was expensive honestly it does nothing like it doesn't do anything the color is so beautiful and i just feel like for the price it's not worth it so the sleek um matte me ultra smooth lip mousse in color fawn fondingo fondango purple was a miss so sleek warm. cosmetics did i get something else yeah i did and when you order from sleek it takes so long to come like no lie i don't think i'll order again from there I did like their blushes, so unless they come out with another 3-0 that I like. I got this lipstick that is called X... Exaggerate. It's like five X's in there. That's why I was like... Sss. And it... I honestly got it because I had gotten addicted to heroin. And I was looking for dupes of heroin. And... Um, it comes in this little sleek velvet packaging that is really pretty and cute. Um, however, this has, I, I have it on on my lip right now. And it's nice and matte because I really like matte lipsticks. But the thing I kind of don't like about it is that it has glitter. I don't like lip glosses with glitter, lips, and especially lipsticks with glitter. Because what happens is, within the next few hours, it'll, when it starts to oxidize, like the glitter, the glitter will be chunky and let's just it doesn't wear long at all so i think the lipsticks and stains from um sleek cosmetic is a miss for me um also i've gotten a sample from makeup forever uh rouge and this is the color it is in keeping with the theme of all those nude lip colors that i have and if you guys want to see a video on nudes for dark skin girls be sure to let me know and i'll go ahead and film that one for you because i've been really into like nudes i had a phase where i was into pink and then i had a phase where i was into like everything that looked smell and tasted like heroin from mac and that phase is not quite over and then i had a, and then i'm like currently in a phase where i just love every single thing nude and i am on the hunt to find that perfect nude for dark skin girls where you're not caking on the liner so it looks good. I really just want a nude where I can put it on like regular girls and just look as cute as everyone else. So on the higher end, I got this Christian Dior um, Rouge Dior. It's called Times Square from Christian Dior. Um, and I've always like been into testing out higher end lipsticks even though I don't like the fact that some higher end lipsticks do have lead in it and I'm really not a fan of that. This is the Christian Dior's um, Times Square. Now the color looks like this. It is a beautiful pink color. However, the wearing power of it is not that good. Um, as you can see, it's a satin finish and it's very transferable so for a higher end lipstick eh, didn't do it for me i got that as a gift from my best friend um and then from kiko there this is a brand that's um only in new york it's in new york and dc or something like that um i got um a color that looks like heroin and this is what it looks like it's lighter than heroin um, and also the wearing power on that is not that long it's like two hours max I don't see the name of it on here so I think the number is 923 and that's what it looks like one more time so that's that and then from Aldo I got this necklace they had buy one get one free I got this really beautiful necklace you can see that I don't want to bring the camera down 
I got this really gorgeous necklace. I bought one and I gave one away as a gift. Absolutely love it. It's like a really great statement. It's a really cute purse. It's Christmas time, so it's time for a lot of dinners and a lot of, you know, special functions. So I got this clutch at a little boot. Oh, crap. My lipstick. At a little boutique, I won't be able to tell you guys the name because it's only in Brooklyn. And I don't know the name either. I just was happening to pass by this little boutique and I found it. It was so gorgeous and I really love pearls. So that's what the top looks like. It's some really knickknacks for some little kids that I absolutely adore. So I got these little bows and then and some little shirts. I've been really into kids clothing lately. So I literally would just like buy a piece of clothing and then find somebody to give it to. But these are for my god kids. Um, and they were also from JCPenney. They're just super fun and super adorable. And this is the last one. A nice flannel shirt. It's very on trend and very in season. really cute dress from Macy's I will insert a picture of the dress from the actual website because I don't think this will do the dress justice it has like this really lace not it has a lace top And that commences my Black Friday and collective haul. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.